What's going on, guys? I want to follow up from my video yesterday where I talked about just figure it out. <clears throat> Stop asking in people for the the single answer that's going to work. Okay, everyone's got their own solution that you got to figure it out. Okay, uh, here's I'm going to give you a starting point. This is going to be the simplest way that I can get you a point to start from. But you have to understand that once you have a starting point, it is up to you to figure out what's working track what you're doing, what you're changing, and how it's making a difference in your life, okay? That's the process. That's what I mean by figure it out. Track it. If you don't have data, you have no idea what you need to change or what you did and what's working or not, okay? Track how your body's responding. What is happening when you do this? What is happening when you do that? You need those pieces of information in order to make changes, okay? So here's your starting point. The basic, simplest things that you can do to have a starting point for you to figure the rest out from there, okay? Number one, eat one gram of protein per pound of your body weight, okay? Whole foods, fatty cuts of meat, that's it, okay? That's the minimum. Don't worry about tracking, I need this much uh, fat, I need too much fat, I need uh, not enough fat, whatever. Uh, just every day, focus on getting one gram per pound of body weight, okay? If you're, if you're severely overweight, you maybe you go off your goal weight, something like that, okay? But pick a number. That's how much protein you need every day. I'm going to make the assumption that you're getting fatty cuts of meat. You're getting enough fat with the meat. You don't need to add fat. That's number one, okay? Focus on the protein. If you're getting protein from whole food sources and you're getting fatty cuts of meat, you're going to get the fat that you need to, okay? That includes eggs, okay? Don't just do egg whites. Do the whole egg. Get the yolk, Okay? One gram of pound, one gram of protein per pound of lean mass. Second thing, three to five grams of sodium every day. Okay. Recommendation: Don't drink any water if it doesn't have electrolytes in it. Okay. That's my second thing. And then third thing: Do something physically challenging three days a week. That's it. Do those three things. Focus on just those three things. Don't worry about intermittent fasting. Don't worry about PSMF. Don't worry about uh, trying to do some fitness challenge. Don't worry about uh, making sure you're getting all sorts of supplements and liver and all these different things. Just start with the basic things of get the protein you need from whole food sources. If you do that, you'll also get the fat you need. Get the sodium, get the electrolytes that you need because when you're cutting out carbs, when you're doing that, and number one, you need more. Number two, most people don't get enough anyways. Okay. And then number three, move your body, challenge yourself physically at least three times a week. Just do those things from there. Don't do anything other than those three things for a month to two months. See how your body responds. See what changes in your life. Then you can make a change. If you want to get more specific in tracking your macros, if you want to increase your protein, if you want to change your sodium intake, if you want to try a different workout plan, if you want to try intermittent fasting, Whatever it is, whatever that next change is going to be, number one, it should be the next change. Number two, it should be one thing. Start with the foundation, then you make one change at a time. And that change, you track it for four to six weeks, maybe eight weeks, and you see what happened, then you change something again. Okay? That's the process. If you follow that process, it may take you a year, two years, five years to find the right combination of everything that you need to get where you want to be. But other than that, you're going to be spinning your wheels, you're going to be driving yourselves crazy, and you're going to be frustrated throughout the entire process, okay? If you track it, if you make small changes, and if you progress as you see the positive movement forward, then you're going to reinforce that you're doing the things you need to do, and you're going to start making improvements in your quality of life instead of stalling and getting frustrated along the way. Hope that helps.